On behalf of the Eurospace program, 189 days into your solo journey. Commander Prohatska, how are you feeling? It made sense to the character to be alone as much as possible. Johan, when we were shooting the alone stuff, kind of just put me in my own world. The cameras were kind of far away. He let me just feel the uh, sadness on my own and just got to be in my own little weird world. There is something about comedians playing very non-comedic roles that is very effective because you take an actor who's known for his comedy and you take away all the comedy from that. You take off the clown makeup and the, the funny suit and the funny shoes and all that. You'll have somebody who's going to be more naked and vulnerable than if you take you know, a more conventional dramatic actor to do that. He's not doing well. He misses his wife. And he shouldn't have left. I think she was also just feeling fed up, you know? And that's what I was sort of, I liked about the character uh, and the idea was that she's really annoyed. <laughs> you know, that he's decided that he needs to do this thing for himself, but to the exclusion of everything else. You know, there are tons of films about brave men going off and fulfilling their dream or their huge mission in life, but you know, you don't see the sort of reality of how people really feel about that, which is not always like cheerleading, it's the reality, which is like, this is massively inconvenient. Uh undeniable theme of the film is about what happens when you prioritize yourself and your wants and needs too much versus those who are close to us. I'm getting interference. I did not intend to frighten you, skinny human. Do not be afraid. I'm losing my mind. Well, Paul, who plays Hanush, we did a bunch of uh, rehearsals together, so we got to kind of lock into something that we were connecting on. And so he wasn't there when I was shooting it, but I, I felt his warmth throughout it. And it was kind of like a subconscious or spirit or something that I was able to talk to and be truthful with. And it was very cathartic. Why are you here? I might be of help. I wish to assist you in your emotional distress. I don't need your help. But you do. I started looking into this project in the pandemic, you know. So loneliness and isolation was like, we shot this in the pandemic, and that was a big part of the experience, to be honest. You know, what happens to all of us when we're deprived of our sort of, of the social aspect of us? The, 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 we are social creatures, you know, and when that is getting sort of taken away from us, and how do we, how, do, how does that work for us? You know, and to some extent, all of us were, uh, you know, sort of, you know, camped up in a little spaceship during the lockdown. You go where I go, and I go where you go. I just want to come home.